I am Pearl and welcome or welcome back to my channel, My French Story, the place to be to learn French, so make sure that you subscribe. Today, I am going to talk about French TV shows on Netflix because we all love Netflix and watching French TV shows is actually a great way for you to improve your French and also improve your listening skills. So, I have decided to talk about my favorite French TV shows that are going to help you a lot. So without further ado, let's dive into this list. So a show that I really recommend is the show called Family Business. So one of my friends actually recommended this show to me and she asked me to watch because she said that it was hilarious and she was right. So I really like this show because the story revolves around that guy who's a businessman but he's not successful at all and he found out that cannabis was about to be legalized in France and he wants to open the first coffee shop and he's involving his entire family. This is so funny. I really love that show because Gérard Darmon is one of the actors and I love him. He's a great actor and he's really, really hilarious. So this show I recommend it because after a long day of work or at school, you can come back home and just watch that and just relax and you will still improve and learn French because the plot is very easy to follow. You don't have to focus for hours. So this one, we love it because it's light and you will learn a lot of vocabulary. So another show that I would like to talk about is the TV show called Plan Coeur. Plan Coeur. So Plan Coeur, it's a girly show and I love it because I love a good girly show and it's about three best friends and one of them, she has been single for a long time and for her birthday, her friends decided to pair her a man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who does that? Like, I'm gonna offer you a guy. But why not? Why not? She met that guy and she thinks, oh my god, I met the love of my life. And she doesn't know that her friends actually paid that guy to be with her. It's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. But it's a comedy. And I really like that show and I recommend that show because you are going to hear the French people speak. You are going to learn a lot of slang. You know I love slang <laughs> a lot. So I really recommend this show because it will boost your vocabulary and it's fun, it's entertaining, it's very light. So plan coeur, it's definitely un oui, un grand oui. So now I would like to talk about a thriller. I'm going to talk about a show called La Mante. La Mante. So La Mante is the name of a serial killer that was jailed for years and now the police and her son, yes because the serial killer is a woman, her son works for the police and he needs her help to resolve some crimes. So I recommend this show because I think that it's important to watch comedies but thrillers, I love a good thriller, <laughs> a good thriller it's always good. Also, this one, you will see that it's going to be a little bit more challenging. So thrillers are good when you are a little bit more advanced in your French. It's going to challenge you because you really need to understand what's going to happen. And of course, you know, with Netflix, you can put the subtitles. For thrillers, if you are advanced, I really recommend to watch with the French subtitles if you feel comfortable. If not, you can stick to the English subtitles, but thrillers are great to challenge yourself because the plot is not that simple, so you need to be very focused. So I really loved La Mante. There's only one season, but trust me, it is worth it. I would like to talk about a supernatural TV show called Zone Blanche. Also, when you will look for those shows, try to type the English name of the show. I will put all the English names in the description box down below. So Zone Blanche is a supernatural TV show. So the story is about that little village where you have no network, no signals. And in that little village, you have so many murders. Jesus Christ, I'm scared just talking about it. So this one is good for you if you like supernatural, mysterious TV shows. I personally don't like that. <laughs> it really scares me. But once again, in that show, you have amazing actors. You also have a lot of scenes where the characters are speaking quite slowly. 
This one is also good for more advanced because once again, the plot is not that easy. So you will have to be very focused, but Zone Blanche, go for it and let me know in the comments what you think about it because I'm not going to watch the full season. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. Sorry. <laughs> Désolé. <laughs> So another show that you absolutely need to watch is the TV show called 10%. 10%. So in English, on Netflix, you will have to type Call My Agent. I love that show. It's a comedy. It's hilarious. And I love it because it is a good insight into French culture and French humor. It's very ironic kind of cold a little bit, but this is how a lot of French people joke. <laughs> so I love that show for that. Also, the cast is pretty good. You always have new characters coming and I'm all the time very surprised because they are well-known actors, well-known French actors. So this one is really good for the cultural aspect and also for the laugh. I love 10%. I really recommend it. So another TV show that I would like to talk about is called Le Bazar de la Charité. Le Bazar de la Charité. Le Bazar de la Charité, it's a good show if you like history, if you like historical TV shows. So this TV show is inspired by true events. In France, in 1897, a huge fire killed more than a hundred women. And all those women belong to the upper society of Paris. Obviously, at the time, it was all over the papers and still today, we remember this day as a huge tragedy. In this TV show, they are following three women that were affected by those fires. I actually really like this show. You have to be careful because it is an historical TV show. The vocabulary is quite formal. So here, it's really good if you are a little bit more advanced. If you are not, that's completely fine. You can watch it with the subtitles in English. I really like this because I like watching Paris back in the days. I like the costumes. If you're like me, I can tell you, you will love that show. Le Bazar de la Charité, one of my favorite, I would have to say. So another TV show that I would like to talk about, it's called Twice Upon a Time. So this show is a drama, romantic TV show. Everything I like, drama and romance. <laughs> so in this TV show, a young man played by Gaspard Huliel. Just for Gaspard Huliel, I will watch this show. <laughs> so Gaspard Huliel is this young man that find a way to go back in time. So he's going back in time to save his relationship with his girlfriend because they broke up, but things are not going to go his way and it's not going to be that easy. This show, I love it. Why? For the story. If you like a good romantic story, this show is for you. And also because the pace of the show is quite slow, which is good. <laughs> Usually you don't want to have something like that, but for this show, it's good because it means that the dialogues are not like crazy quick so you can like follow easily the vocabulary is quite advanced once again it's a tv show but you will be able to follow what they are saying while they're talking during those very slow scenes and the story is nice so twice upon a time i really recommend it so guys tell me what is the tv show that you are going to watch now also, if you know other French TV shows on Netflix or other platforms, please comment down below. Sharing is caring. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss anything. That's it for me and I see you very soon for another video. Salut!